All right, good morning, everyone. It is now 11 o'clock on August the 11th, 2023. So if you're watching this video in the future, please be aware some of the things Kristen is discussing today may have changed. Uh, we will do our best to keep these videos updated uh, when we do get uh, major content changes uh, for operational purposes. So if you're watching in the future, hopefully this is good information still. So without further, I'll turn it over to Kristen. Thanks, Kristen. Right. Thanks, Tim. All right. In this session this morning, we're actually going to talk about sending out e-cards and campaigns to your client list. Something that's uh, kind of on everybody's mind right now as we start heading into the holidays and as we start getting ready for 2024. Can't believe that's right around the corner, but we need to start contacting everybody and making sure that we are top of mind heading into next year's spring market. So let's talk about sending e-cards and campaigns out of RWT Connect. So remember, RWT Connect is our local intranet. Uh, this belongs to RW Town Realty. And we can actually send a couple of different things out of here. We can send um, one-off emails. So we can send e-cards out of the system. We can also send what we call action plans or drip campaigns out of the system as well. We call them action plans because sometimes they contain other things other than emails. So for example, it could be a reminder for you to call someone and follow up, or it could be a different kind of task. That's why they're called action plans and not drip campaigns because they actually contain other things as well. So let me show you how you can go ahead and send things out of RWT Connect. There's a few ways to do this. Mostly we're gonna be looking at these two buttons right up here at the top, marketing and email. So there's your action plan button I was just talking about. Remember action plan is just another fancy word for a drip campaign. But let's go ahead and start with the emails first so that you can see what they look like when you're just sending one. So I have a few contacts in here. I'm on my training account today. And we're going to go ahead and send out an email to one person, or we can send it out to a group, or we can actually send it out to everybody in our system as well. So let me go to ahead and go to new, and let me show you what that looks like. It's going to bring up this email here that is basically blank, and you have the option here to go ahead and send an email that looks just like this, and you can just fill it in just as if it was a letter. Now, one of the first things that people ask me is, where does this signature come from? This isn't the same signature in my email. It's not. This is actually built into our system, and you can adjust your signature at any time by going ahead and clicking your headshot up here in the right-hand corner, and you'll see a user function there called signature right there, and you can go ahead and adjust that. We won't go over that today, uh, but do know that it's right there if you need to adjust this. This is actually bringing in all the information directly from your RWT Connect profile. So it's just pulling in all that information for us. All right, so we can go ahead and change our subject line and we can go ahead and add something to this body here. So I'm gonna go ahead over here on this left-hand side. This is how RWT Connect works. Um, what you can do is on the left-hand side. And of course your preview is over here on the right. Basically the whole system works the same way. So we can say subject line, something like open house this Sunday. Okay, I'm just making something up as we go. And then we have the opportunity to put in some message text right here. So if I click message text, it's gonna give you something called the page editor. And it's gonna bring up something like this. It's gonna look a lot like just your typical editor. You see this in Word, you see this um, in Google, you see this in your email. It's just gonna give you some functions to be able to basically type a letter of some sort. So we can go ahead and add um, some information in here. We can you know, type a hello to our clients. We can do whatever we wanna do. So hello to my clients, put that in there. We can even add photos in here if we want to. So notice you have an image library um, area right here. And it's the image library for this is gonna look a little bit different than the image library that you might be used to seeing with your site builder website. These are formatted for emails. So maybe we're heading into the holidays here. Maybe we wanna start putting in something a little wintry. I'm just gonna go ahead and click that and hit select image and notice it's gonna drop it right in there. And then we can go ahead, I'm just putting a return in there. Let me go ahead and bring that over again and I can just continue typing. This is wishful thinking because of course it's probably 90 degrees out again today, um, but you can see that we can just put in some different typing, different things like that. You can make this font bigger if you want to. Again, these are just pretty standard um, 
in different types of fonts and adjustments here. So if I wanted to make this bold, I can. If I wanted to change it to a headline, if I wanted to change my font. Now, a question on the fonts that we often get with these e-cards is why aren't there any scripty fonts in here? And that's because these are all universal fonts. So these are going to open up on desktop, tablet, mobile, and it doesn't matter what kind of device somebody is using. Um, all of these are standard fonts, so this will open up the same for everybody. So I can change that there. Maybe I want to go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Do that. And then of course we can always change our text color here as well. You guys can go ahead and play with this afterwards and you can kind of see what that looks like. So I've just added some basic text. I added an image. I added some more text here and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. Remember in this system, there's probably a save or submit somewhere. So keep an eye out for it. And you can see that this is a pretty nice template. So here's our subject line. Hello to my clients. Here's a nice picture. Winter is almost here. Bottom. All right. So we've done some work in here and we can go ahead and now send this. So I've just closed out my message text. So I've just gone back to this window right here and notice that we have a couple of different options. We have a save and we have a send. So we have the opportunity to save this card. If you know that this is a card that you're going to use again. So we have agents who like to set up like drip campaigns or action plans um, for neighborhood goings on. Um, maybe this is stuff that happens all the time, or maybe it's something that you're going to do again, or maybe it's something you want to send out to clients again in the future. Do feel free to save this so that you can use this template again if you want to. So you do have that save button right there. And it's going to ask you to give it a title just so that you know what it is. So we can say, you know, winter is coming. And it's going to ask us to put it in a folder if we want to start to organize things. So maybe this is a e-card that we were going to send out to um, our neighborhood about a shred event, for example. So maybe we have something that's specific to my neighborhood. So here's a little folder called my neighborhood that we'd created previously. If you need to create a folder for whatever reason, there is a new folder option right there. It'll just give you a new folder here. You can just go ahead and type in your name. And I'm going to hit save. So the nice thing about this is if the phone rang and I didn't have a chance to send this yet, or I'm not finished with this, I want to come back later, it's saved in the system. I can always come back. Um, it's also saved in the system. If I want to use it again in the future, it's now considered essentially a my template. Um, and I can always get back to it later if I want to resend it if I need to. The other option we can do here is to just go ahead and send it. So I'm going to go ahead and click that send button in here and it's going to bring up this little dialog box and it's going to ask us what do you want to do? So we can go ahead and add an individual contact if we want to. So I know, for example, I have a contact in here named Julie Abrams and if I only want to show to send it to her, I'm going to go ahead and have Julie Abrams in my contact list already and I can go ahead and add her. Now notice when I put in Julie, it's trying to find her, so it's pulling it up by her name. It's also trying to find it in the email addresses right here as well. So I could always go ahead and just add it uh, right there by clicking. You have a couple of other options here too. If you want to send to one of your groups that you've already created, so maybe this is going to go out to my whole neighborhood. I have a group called My Neighborhood in here. And notice if I start typing my group name, it's going to come up with the group name right here. It's called My Neighborhood. And that's going to send out to everybody in my My Neighborhood group. So the nice thing is, is notice that you can mix and match. If Julie was not in my My Neighborhood group, but I wanted to send it to her anyway, she would also receive this along with My Neighborhood. Now here's a fun trick that's nowhere in any of our help sections or anything like that. Um, and it's called the All button. So maybe this is going to be a holiday card, or maybe it's going to be a new listing card or something like that and you want to send it out to everybody in your contact list, if you just type the word all, it's going to allow you to send it to all contacts right there at the very bottom. Notice that group name is all contacts. Every single contact that you have in your system by default belongs to all contacts. It just doesn't show that in their groups. So the groups are that show in their sections are things that you've created or you've assigned, but there is something called all. So this is a fun fact and an easy tip for this section here we can send to all contacts. Now, if you made a mistake and you're like, oh no, I do not want to send to all contacts, there is an opportunity here to just go ahead and remove that. So you can go ahead and remove anything that you need to before you send. You do have an option to send yourself a copy of the email if you need to. And then you can either send it now or you can set it for uh, future delivery. So if you know that you've created maybe an open house card and you don't want to send it until Friday, maybe this is a reminder, or maybe this you want to send this Saturday morning. 
you can go ahead and hit send later and it's going to let you choose a date and either morning afternoon or evening for delivery on here or you can go ahead and then just send it now if you want to and that's what we're going to do right now is just hit send now and it says it's email sent to this little box up here and we're good to go so that email went off to uh, julie abrams so we have a couple of other things in the system that are really similar to this. You don't have to be creative. We've already created a bunch of things for you. You can also just go to email marketing right here. So we've gone to email, email marketing. And this is going to bring up the e-cards that are available out of RWT Connect. So we have a lot of different stock images in here and stock templates. If you click that stock templates button over here on the left hand side, you're going to see that we have lots and lots of different things. We have lots of different holidays. Um, these are all coming, of course, from our vendor. So we have uh, multiple e-cards in here. So I know Labor Day is coming up. I'm just going to go ahead and click the holiday Labor Day. And you'll see the different e-card options that are in here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this first one. And it's going to bring us right back to that same type of window we were just in where we created our own, except this is going to be a template. So we can go ahead and change this template as much as we want to. We can again save it if we want to reuse it again, if we've made a bunch of changes, um, or we can just go ahead and send it. And it's going to basically ask us to do the same thing. Here's our subject. Just wanted to say happy Labor Day. We'll just go ahead and leave that. It has a body image in here, so this has already been created for this. Um, if we wanted to change it, if we clicked body image, it would bring up that uh, image library. And of course, we have our stock images, or you can upload your own if you want to. We have a salutation in here. Now this is interesting. Notice that we have this uh, section here called contact first name and it's in all of these different brackets. That means that it's a token in our system. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna say, happy Labor Day, Julie, happy Labor Day, Bob, um, whatever happens to be in that first name field on your client contact card that's in our system. So our tokens are right here. So you can actually insert tokens anywhere into the system where you find them appropriate. So if you had, uh, maybe you're sending this to everybody you know has a second contact, for example, um, you could do something like and, and then there's a second contact option in here. Um, you also have uh, different emails, postcards, you know, things like that. For those of you who are on a team, you can actually add your team name in here if you needed to, um, all sorts of fun things in here. Add a token. I'm going to go ahead and close out that salutation section and then we can go ahead and change the message text so here we have happy labor day um julie just wanted to send you a quick note uh whether you have a barbecue whatever you're doing here best agent name. i never sign anything best um let's just make it a little friendly have a great holiday and then it's going to add in my agent first name now you could take that token out if you want to and i could just put Kristen if i wanted to there we go and so I've made those changes. So again, I can go ahead and hit save if I want to use this again in the future, or I'm not ready to send it right now. I want to come back and do some more work on it, or I can just go ahead and send it. So I can go ahead and send, and I'm going to send to that same contact I just had just because we're on our training account today. So there's Julie, and I want to send this in a future date. So let's go ahead and change this to Let's say September 4th and I'm going to send it in the morning and I'm going to schedule my delivery. So notice it says scheduling email to selected recipients. Please wait. It's going ahead and going ahead and select. It's going to go ahead and schedule that. Uh, we'll just give it a second and then it says email is scheduled. And now we know that that email will go out automatically. So we do have groups of emails that are already created or you can actually create your own drip campaigns in this system. So that's going to be under the marketing tab right here and it's going to be under action plans so here we are with action plans i have a lot of action plans in here just because this is a training account um, but you'll be able to notice when you go in you'll probably have about eight in your system and you have lots of different types of action plans in here you can see them by the type of owner if you see this kind of like person icon here that means it's one of your plans it's something you've created if you see um, this little cog or little gear, it means it's a stock plan that's in the system. If you see this little globe here, we call that a global plan, which means it's available to everybody in our system. So we created these as a company plan. 
So you'll be able to see those. So these action plans, or just another fancy name for drip campaign in our system, come in all different types of things. Um, probably our most popular ones right now are the birthday action plan. So that means that anytime somebody has a birthday that's in their contact card, they're going to receive that birthday action plan. I always tell people to go ahead and just sign up everybody for the birthday action plan if you can, because anytime you add somebody to your contacts, if you use that all feature that we talked about, it's just going to go ahead, go ahead and continuously update everybody in your system. So we've created an action plan right here um, with an agent task notification on it. So what this means is that that person is going to receive an email. So they're going to receive an e-card that's a birthday e-card from me. But I'm also going to get a reminder as an agent that says, hey, follow up. So this one actually has a task related to it that one day before that e-card goes out, I'm going to receive a notification in my email that says that my contact will receive an automatic birthday e-card from the system tomorrow, reminder to follow up personally with a phone call. So this is going to add, be added essentially to my to-do list for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and call up Julie and say, you know, hopefully you got my e-card. Let's get together and go out for lunch. Happy birthday, whatever you want to say. It's just a way to make sure that you stay in touch with your clients. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one because I want to send out a birthday e-card and I want those personal reminders on here. So notice that there's a button right here called add contacts and groups and this is going to work pretty similarly to um, sending out an e-card so i can go ahead and add an individual contact if i want to so of course i can add julie in here she's in here i can add her i can add just contacts from a group so if i wanted to, this to be just my neighborhood for whatever reason i can be i can put it in there or let's go ahead and use that all feature so I'm going to type in all and hit all contacts and hit save. And it's going to go ahead and add them to it. Now, of course, this is a training account, so I have a whole bunch of unsubscribes because these are fake emails that are in here. Um, but I do want you to notice that only certain people have birthdays. So, for example, Adam Jones in here does not have a birthday in the system. He's not going to receive this e-card because the system doesn't know when to send it out. However, if you discover when Adam Jones's birthday is and you go back and add that birthday to his contact card, it'll he'll automatically get this birthday card on his birthday because he's already subscribed to this as an all subscriber. So anytime you update the information, it's also going to make sure that it sends it out. And again, anytime I add contact, so if I go through today and add the 15 people I met from the open house on Saturday, um, it's going to go ahead and add them to this campaign because I put in all contacts. It'll just continuously update. So you can see all the different uh, things that are in here. So obviously these, these people have unsubscribed. This is scheduled to go out, scheduled. Um, so you'll also see something called in progress from time to time. In progress doesn't mean uh, that it's in the progress of sending. It means that it's in the middle of a campaign for whatever reason. I want to show you another super popular action plan while I'm right here. And that is the monthly newsletter that's sent on the fourth right here. You'll, everybody should have this in their system. And this is just a monthly newsletter that goes out from our system. Um, the content is not written until right before this is supposed to go out because we know that the market changes really, really fast and we need to be able to pivot if something changes. So for example, interest rates go up, we have some kind of natural disaster or something like that. We need to be able to make sure that the topics are um, uh, on par with what is going on in the real estate world and make sure that everything is is what it needs to be when it goes out. This is really helpful to us during the pandemic where we did not send things out that said, get ready for your spring open house after we all shut down in March. So I'm not sure September's is in here yet. Okay, it's not in here quite yet because we're right in the middle of the month, but you can see what went out in August. So for those people who had people subscribe to this, um, this is selling and buying at the same time. OK, this is really popular. So evaluating the local market, understanding finances. This is just kind of generic, regular, you know, real estate content. It's going to put in some tokens that says that they can search for active homes on your on your website. So this is going to try to push them back to your website. Um, and then, of course, this is a token here that's adding your email address that says, hey, reach out to me with any of your real estate questions. Um, hope you're having a great summer. So it was really kind of great content that's in there. The nice thing about setting people up for this monthly newsletter is that 
in January, the people will still be subscribed, but everything will change. So you'll see this come in through the 2024 and they'll be just resubscribed to the 2024 um, campaign in here. We get this question about the birthday e-card too. Well, what if I send something with a cupcake this year? I don't want them to receive something with a cupcake next year. They don't. So every year the stock plans are changed. The stock plans are changed to include um, a new image and some new text on there. Um, so anything that you create, you'll have to update, but all of our stock plans are updated for the new year. Hey, Kristen. Go ahead. We have a question. Stacy, go ahead. Do you want to ask it? I'll ask it. Hi, it's Lisa Tucky again. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed on that monthly newsletter, the monthly news or the contact that it, our website now says at rwtown.com. Has our, have our website addresses changed? So this one says at rw. Uh, town.com because uh, this Mary Agent Training account does not have a vanity domain on it. Once well, you have a, sure I have a vanity domain on it, then we need to double check that it's set as primary. Um, so we, I'll go ahead and make sure that we do that after this. But yes, so if you're seeing um, uh, your first name, last name, dot rwtown.com, it means right. that there's either not a vanity domain on there or it's not set as primary in the system. Okay, thanks. If you will, Lisa, if you'll send an email to web support as a reminder, Kristen will get to check that as soon as she gets uh, done teaching and doing her yep, emails. Absolutely. Today. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. That was actually a really good question. It comes up fairly often. Yeah. So if anybody sees that, just send an email to web support and Kristen will work on those as she gets them in. Um, the other thing too with these uh, marketing uh, pieces here is that you can also create your own. So if you wanted to go and create your own action plan using any of the stock emails, or if you've gone ahead and created a bunch of emails like for your neighborhood or something like that, and you've saved them, you can always create your own action plan as well up here. And you have a couple of different options. You can set it up by number of days, by calendar, um, whether somebody has signed up for something, their birthday, their home anniversary, or their wedding anniversary. So by calendar means specific calendar dates. So this is great for things like holiday cards. By days means it's by days after somebody has subscribed to this. So, so this is good for something like introductions to new clients um, or maybe like a post closing or a post contract e-card system uh, drip campaign where it's one day after they're subscribed, they get this card. Seven days after they've subscribed, they get this card. So you'll have people on different days and different times in the by days section. All right, did anybody have any questions about sending the e-cards out of RWT Connect or um, our action plans in RWT Connect before we move on? Doesn't look like it, Kristen. All right, so let's take a quick look at the e-cards up in BHHS Resource Center. So this is another place, of course, that we can send out e-cards. We can send out um, and different flyers and things like that via email. And this is going to be in the BHHS resource, which again is that global internet for all BHHS agents throughout the world. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at marketing resource. I've already opened it just for the sake of time here. And this is the section where we're going to be able to send out different e-cards and different types of e-cards out of this system as well. So I do want you to know that this does have a drip campaign, so we're going to come back to this in just a minute. But I want to take a look at all the different individual e-cards first. So this is a fairly new um, dashboard for us. We just got this earlier in the summer. And so if you haven't had a chance to take a look at the new marketing resource, they've made it even easier for you to be able to find things in here. So for example, if you're looking to do some property marketing, so maybe you want to send out an e-card for an open house. If you just see this property marketing, open house, and we just click on that little drop down. Notice that we have the option to go right to what we need for it. So here we have an e card. If you need to do some personal marketing, for example, maybe we are looking to send something out for an upcoming holiday or we want to schedule something for an upcoming holiday. Under personal marketing, we have that holidays and occasions. And if I click that little drop down right there, hopefully you guys can see that it's a little light on the screen. You'll notice that we can go right to either e cards, mailable postcards, or things to post on our social media. So they've tried to make it nice and easy for you to be able to um, kind of sort out what you need right away and right up front without having to go through the search features. However, the search features still exist. So if you do want to find something for a very specific holiday or you're looking for something very specific, do feel free to go ahead and put something in that search templates. It'll go ahead and bring it up for you. 
I'm going to go ahead to property marketing and go to that open house just so we can see what that looks like. So again, I've gone to open house and I've gone to e-cards. And it's bringing up that open house e-card that's available in the system. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's just giving me a preview right here. And I'm going to go ahead and use this. And everything in this system is based on this get started button. This is how it basically creates an instance to be able to use this. So it's creating that individual card or a flyer or a postcard. So I'm going to say this is an open house, 123 Main Street. And it's 4817. Sometimes we want to be specific because we want to go back and copy this and use it for something else if we really like our design, um, or if we're going to have maybe multiple open houses. Now, if you have listings, you'll be able to go ahead and choose those listings from the listing manager right here. So we have all of this happens to be this agent's listings right here. Now, if you are an agent who might be hosting an open house for somebody else and you need one of our company listings, notice this little toggle button right up here that says show all company listings. This is going to take a bit to load. We have a bunch, um, but this is actually going to bring up all the different company listings, regardless of who the agent is. This is everything assigned to our company in the system. Um, you'll be able to actually go ahead and send out that e-card uh, for a different listing. Most of the time we're using this for just our own listings. So I'm just going to grab one of these properties right here. It's going to take just a second. It's going to just tell you it's going to take a second to load the information. What it's doing is it's bringing in the public remarks. It's bringing in some information about the property. It's going to bring in the first three photos. And it's going to allow us to go ahead and change some of this information in here. Now, one of the things I do want you to notice is that these buttons changed almost immediately. That means that every single button on here is green. Anytime you see a green button, number one, it can be changed. And number two, it means that it's complete. So all of these different sections right here can all be changed if you needed to, if you wanted to make some adjustments to it. If you're just ready to go ahead and send this out as is, you can, of course, go ahead and just click the uh, little envelope up here, and it's going to take you to your contacts and groups that are available in Marketing Resource, and you can go ahead and send that out. You also have the option to just get a share link. So maybe you want to go ahead and share this link on social media. You also have the options to push it directly to Facebook, um, X, which is formerly Twitter, um, and LinkedIn if you need to. And these can be connected in your profile and marketing resource. You do have the option to change any of this, however. It's going to bring in all the different photos that are available from the MLS. So maybe we want to go ahead and put an interior in here. It just pulled in the first four. Maybe we're going to change this last one to a, um, a different photo here. It's going to go ahead and bring in all of our photos when we start looking at all of our different asset managers here. So we can go ahead and replace this from the library. We can replace this from an upload if we need to. We do have the option to edit that, as you saw. We can go ahead and change some of this information if we want to. Maybe we don't like this capital drive. This actually comes in from the MLS. Maybe we're going to lowercase that. Um, this is a good opportunity to take any abbreviations out of here that you might have. You can go ahead and take out or add some of this information if you need to. And of course, this is pulling in from your a combination of your profile in BHHS resource and also the profile that's available in marketing resource that has a couple of extra fields. However, it is going to allow you to change it right here if you need to. So this is a good opportunity if you're missing some of your uh, titles or designations, you can go ahead and change that. Maybe you want to change um, the, your website or phone number or something like that as well. You can go ahead and change it. Hey, Anytime Kristen, we, we make, have, go ahead. We have a question. Sure. Go ahead, Stacy. It's Lisa again. Um, so you were saying you could directly put it to Facebook, but you can't, can you? Don't you just have to you save it as an image, download and upload it into Facebook? So in this particular case, because it's an e-card, you can actually share the link to Facebook and it's actually going to bring in uh, most likely this main photo. Um, it'll click off into a web version of this card. Um, there are other social images for open houses that are a download and then re-upload. OK, thanks. Mm -hmm. So that actually, that's a good question. It brings up um, uh, something that comes up fairly often too. Sometimes you might put a PDF up here. Um, so maybe you've loaded a PDF into Marketing Resource, a nice brochure, something like that. 
um, it's something that you've created. You always have the share option to be able to send it over to social media. It doesn't always look the way you intend, but there is a way for people to get back to the content. So for example, if you are working on um, something like this, which is an e-card, yes, you can share it to Facebook, but it's not gonna be that static image. It's gonna be a link back to a web version of this. Okay. Once we're ready to go ahead and send this out, again, we're gonna go ahead and click that envelope. It's going to bring in all of our different contacts from um, our RWT, or from marketing resource into here. Um, we can also have the opportunity to add an individual contact if we need to. So if we just want to add somebody who might not be part of our system, we can do that. I'm actually going to go ahead and add myself while I'm here. You do have the ability to import your contacts right away if you want to. If you have a spreadsheet of contacts that you want to use, you can import them right from here. You can also add them from your address book. So this is going to bring in all of your different contacts. If you have these contacts separated by groups, do not ignore this tiny itty bitty little groups button all the way in the upper right hand corner. This is where most people miss it. And if you click on groups, um, it'll show you any of the groups that you have available in here. So if you have uh, segmented people by maybe your neighborhood or prospects or, you know, hot leads or whatever it happens to be, you can go ahead and click and it'll go ahead and bring in that whole group. I'm just going to go ahead and hit add selected. We're not going to send this out. All right. And just like marketing or just like RWT Connect, you do have the option to either schedule this or send it now. So if I click send it now, it's going to send this out right now. This is obviously a live agent's uh, account, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but you do also have the opportunity to schedule it. One of the things I want you to pay attention to is we do try to catch this. This is actually in your profile in Marketing Resource, but make sure that this is uh, it says New York, that you're on Eastern time. The default is actually Pacific time. Most of the time we change it. Every so often we miss one. Um, and just you can either adjust it accordingly or you can go to your profile and you can adjust yourself to Eastern time on there as well. All right, hey, Kristen. Go ahead. You got another hand up. Sure. I wish to, does does this talk to RWT connect? So these is there a way to have or maybe they do maybe the contacts in there are from RWT connect. So the contacts are, but one thing that does not sync are the groups. So if you have it grouped in RWT connect, it will not be grouped in the BHHS global side. OK, so if I'm so it says add from address book, is that the address book or is it? import contacts where is where so my address book that i have in here are clients that have either come in through the sync or that i've added directly to marketing resource okay Just remember with um, marketing resource that this count can be a little off from your other stuff as well because it has to have an email address in order to be in marketing resource. So if you have 700 contacts but 700 or 250 of them um, uh, don't have email addresses, maybe it's just neighborhood addresses that you're using, those 250 people will not be in uh, marketing resource. So that's why some of the numbers can be a little bit different sometimes too. So I did promise you we'd look at drip campaigns as well in uh, marketing resource. So if I go back up to the top up here, we're going to look at that drip campaign button. Remember I said this is where you would have to have some people in Sage um, for this to work. So we have a couple of options here. We can uh, we have a couple of drip campaign options. We have all sorts of uh, drip campaigns. Let me go ahead and run a new one here. You can use one of the blank templates that are on here and or you can use um, some of the on date ones. So we have, of course, the holiday campaign. You can also create your own in here. So this is a blank template. So you can start from on scratch um, and a blank template here. So you can start from scratch as well from here. So on subscribe means it's from a specific date. So as you add people to the system or add people to the strip campaign, then they'll start to receive stuff. So we have lots of things in here, the lifestyle and real estate, home staging tips, landscaping, um, new buyers, new sellers, uh, decorating, home sweet home is a new campaign for us on here as well. Most people use something like this, which is the on date, um, which is our um, uh, holiday calendars. And notice that you have the different 
content in here. So we have the on dates. So some of this we're in progress on some of this right now. So the next one that's going to go out, of course, is going to be Labor Day. Um, and then we have 9-11, Halloween, Veterans Day, uh, Thanksgiving, and then a holiday card that's going to go out as well. So if we're completely OK with how this looks and we're not going to make any changes, we can go ahead and use this template. And then we can go ahead and add our subscribers from right here. So this add subscribers button will show up in this upper right hand corner right here. And it's going to start to bring in your contacts. So if you have all of your contacts, so here's your all contacts right here. There we go. Um, and if you have any groups in marketing resource, you'll be able to send them out from here. I do not want to send this out. Again, this is a, a live system here, so I don't want to go ahead and uh, subscribe anybody. Uh, but do know that as soon as you click maybe all contacts, so you uh, have everybody selected on here and you hit the subscribe button. This will just show that you have the certain number of subscribers and how many have been delivered and how many are yet to be scheduled on here as well. So the only thing that changes after that are these subscribers. And you can go ahead and add somebody to those drip campaigns at any time. So if you wanted to get back to this holiday campaign again, you would just go to drip campaigns up at the top. And notice that you're in the middle of running a holiday campaign right here. Maybe you want to add some new people. Come on, click for me. There we go. And then we can go ahead and add additional subscribers right from here. So you can go ahead and add people throughout the year if you wanted to as well. So you just go back to that drip campaigns and then add subscribers. So since this one isn't automatic as far as adding all contacts to it, um, I like to recommend that you either do this as you put people in or maybe you make it an exercise once a month that you go ahead and just add all your new subscribers uh, to your drip campaigns. Just kind of mark it off on your calendar just to make it a habit on here. All right, so those are sending an individual e-card and also the drip campaigns that are available in marketing resource. Did anybody have any questions about this section? Doesn't look like it. Okay. I, I, would love to see you guys go explore this. So set yourself up in both systems, um, both in RWT Connect and in Marketing Resource, and just start sending e-cards to yourself just so that you can see how they look and to kind of get some practice at sending out some of these drip campaigns um, or action plans or some of the e-cards or uh, emails just so that you can see how what your clients would see, but also so you can familiarize yourself with the system. So definitely add yourself to both systems so that you can just practice sending things. All right. We'll go ahead and wrap up the session for today. And Tim, did you have any reminders? I do. Thank you, Kristen. Mm -hmm. I would like to thank Kristen for both of these sessions today. Thank you all for being here. A reminder, if you're looking for them,